definitely um, not know what you're doing and still get these installed properly. This is like top notch. This is like OEM quality stuff. Definitely a little dirty, a little damaged, no big deal. Fragile. Must be French or something. Gonna start on these Boost Auto side view mirrors. Folding power option here. It says one of the control boxes for the wireless um, folding mirrors. All right, so per usual, uh, started to rain on me when I'm doing outdoor projects, but, um, and they fold out. How sick is that? Press down, down, press down, then they fold in. Freaking sick. Then Definitely stoked. You can obviously look at their video to get way better instruction than what I have, but through the plug hole here, you'll disconnect this. Or I use safety wire, spun up some safety wire. That hole in the firewall right there. Yeah, you can see everything's packaged very nicely. Two, two seconds, almost missed that one. Or else your mirror's going to the ground. Honestly, these guys just have a really nice product all around. They package everything nicely. All right, so today, gonna start on these Boost Auto side view mirrors for the third gen Cummins. These things are pretty smoked. This one doesn't work anymore. And the other one works sometimes, but it's all uh, jiggly. I had to rip a screw in it just to keep it from vibrating like crazy. But um, I got the Boost Auto cab lights and they're sick. So ended up scoring the side views that also have um, they're gonna have lights on the outside that will be markers and turn signals heated and then um, all electronic too so pretty sick we'll take a bit of wiring and whatnot but um, honestly I saw a little brief video of their instructions they have and it looks like uh, you could definitely um, not know what you're doing and still get these installed properly. So that's pretty sick. Honestly, these guys just have a really nice product all around. They package everything nicely. They've got everything labeled. Fragile. Must be French or something. Yeah, you can see everything's packaged very nicely. They've got all your harnesses, connectors. That's a wireless control box. It's all really nice. Real cool. Get this thing out of here. Dude, it's got some weight to them. That's how you know they're good. Heavy means reliable. If it doesn't work, then you can just throw it at them. Oh well, yeah, these are sick. It's got the nice LED outer lens. Yeah, stoked. Real stoked. All right, first things first, this door panel has got to come off. Looks like we got a Phillips there, Phillips here. Looks like that one's missing, and that one is there, but looks to be probably broken off, like someone yanked this door panel off without unscrewing it, so knock that out real quick. All right, door panel's off. There is a little T40. That holds the handle on, so if you just pull the handle out, you can get to it with the door panel on. Two, two seconds, almost missed that one. All right, panel's off. Next, you're gonna disconnect this harness here. 
and then got a 10 mil here there and there and then that will drop your whole mirror off so hold on to it when you disconnect that last 10 mil or else your mirror is going to the ground all right get your new mirror thread it in use a 10 mil when you run this harness that's connected to the mirror make sure it's below right below that white plug on the mirror it's got clearance down there so you don't pinch it real straightforward okay so this is probably the most tricky part of the whole installation as far as i'm concerned um the blue and orange harness that they give you that plugs in to their uh, plug connected to the mirror you got to run that through the door they say to peel this back but i just uh, went through this hole and then um hi trudy anyways the hard part is disconnecting these plugs here so you got a black and white plug that plug into this so you got to get those unplugged and um, then you pop this boot, so you're running this harness down through the door, into this boot, and then out the side, out the side of these plugs here. So then it will end up in the, the chassis like that. So that was a little tricky. It wasn't too bad though. You're gonna want to uh, get yourself a coat hanger or I use safety wire, spun up some safety wire, taped the wires to it, and then fed that down through here and then through the boot and then out the side of that plug. And that will keep the wires safe from getting chafed up from opening and closing the door. All right, the passenger side is the same operation here. Install the mirror, um, use their blue and orange harness plug it into the harness coming through from the mirror and then same thing use a coat hanger tape your wires to it run it through here and then um, through the boot and then through the plug hole here you'll disconnect this right here so you can pop this this plug out of the uh, I don't know housing I don't know much about wiring but Anyways, then you run the uh, coat hanger out through this. Um, I'd pull it all out and then run it into the cab. And um, you can poke it right through that. And then you could probably run it up, I don't know, zip tie it up somewhere or down under the carpet. Over the trans tunnel to the other side. And then over there you're going to splice in to... Um, one of the wires and then it'll end up going through the firewall up front to probably tap into the headlights uh, their video explains it pretty well but yeah I just kind of tucked it back under the carpet there over to there and then I'm pretty sure I need to splice you can uh, just splice the orange into the other orange so then you're only running one up to the firewall. All right, so I got both the the blue and orange harnesses under the dash. Um, I spliced the orange ones together, so you only have one that's going to go through the firewall. Both of the blues go through, and then um, ran them up through that hole in the firewall right there. It's my go-to hole there for all that stuff. And then pull them up here. These are them right, right here. Um, the other wires there are for the uh, the cab lights that I did a few weeks ago. But then I ran those uh, orange and blue wires back here under the battery tray, and then up front. And then these will tap into probably both the headlights. All right, so per usual, uh, started to rain on me when I'm doing outdoor projects, but um, I didn't get a video of how to wire up this, but essentially the blue wires are getting signal from the turn signal, just like, as you can see here, this is for when I tapped into the turn signal for the um, cab lights, since those are 
left and right blinkers also now. So same wire, just tapped in. And then over here, it's gonna be the same blue wire that taps into the turn. And then um, the other one goes to the running light. So pretty straightforward. You can obviously look at their video to get way better instruction than what I have, but it's all pretty easy. All right, so here's one of the control boxes for the wireless um, folding mirrors. They've got two harnesses, one here, one here. Um, they have you tap, they have instructions on which wires to tap into your OEM mirror control plug. And then you just tie that stuff up. Cool. Started pouring, not quite done yet, but all the wiring's finished up and uh, definitely pretty sick. It's starting to really come down. Just pretty much need to button up the, uh, the door panels and should be it. Definitely stoked. Okay, just got these mirrors installed. Gonna test out the folding power option here. It says turn to left mirror, then left, left, right, right, and then it beeps. You press up, press up, press down, down, press down, then they fold in. It's freaking sick. Then press up and they fold out. How sick is that? And then um, I think after a few seconds, they turn off the folding sequence. So then you can just operate the, yeah, it just beeped, just heard it. So then now, now I can adjust the mirror itself. These are sick. And then uh, change to the right side I actually thought my window switches were bad or the mirror switches but apparently everything works and my old mirrors were just junk but yeah how sick this is like top notch this is like OEM quality stuff highly recommend the boost auto parts so far everything I've gotten from them is real sick but yeah and then they're also like LED with the signal in them. You can see there, they're super bright. And they match the cab lights perfectly. Yeah, this stuff's great. Highly, highly recommend. And they're also integrated with the turn signal. It's too sick. Makes my 04 feel like a, a new truck. <laughs>